Here, let's look at the Bitcoin chart and where we think uh, things are going to be going from this stage. So just now it's the 20th of February. Uh, the last time I did this was 35 days ago. And this is where I started drawing this red path, which I expected uh, Bitcoin to be taking here. So the last time was around about here and we had just crossed the 20,000 dollar barrier and everyone was feeling super happy about that because we'd effectively retraced the drop from the FTX collapse there. Uh, so back uh, several months back just before December, uh, around about here I was saying there's a chance if the FTX chat, the FTX uh, drama that was happening was, was fake, if it was FUD, if it was uh, not actually... Um, a big issue, then I could have seen uh, Bitcoin uh, increasing up in value, as you can see along there. And I said also, if it drops, well, then we could see it definitely drop to around about here. However, it, uh, it was a lot worse than we'd all expected. And uh, in this case, it had dropped from... Yeah, you could easily say it dropped for about a 25% drop uh, from what we were thinking it should have been at. So yeah, in the space of two weeks, um, well, actually in the space of barely a couple of days, it uh, it did the majority of it and then it just stayed low throughout the whole of December. So anyway, New Year starts and we have one of the best Februaries we've ever had. So that was all good. And uh, we pumped back up to 20,000. And my predictions, which uh, are just guesses really, I'll just take away the info line, don't need that was that we're going to be following this kind of squiggly trajectory we've got uh, going up here. So just the looking at the previous Bitcoin patterns over the years, whenever it's been getting closer and closer to the halving and uh, all this kind of stuff, then there's usually this slight uh, increase, then a calming, and then a bit more of a parabolic increase uh, afterwards. And it's kind of been following what I predicted. Uh, granted, these are my... My channels are quite large, um, but yeah, it did come up and it did have a bit of retracement. And now we're actually above where I thought it was going to be, but certainly we're in the circle, still right in the middle of the circle of where I thought we would be uh, at least up to February and also going all the way up to kind of the middle of March. So about another month uh, is what I was predicting in this area. Uh, the big chat just now is if we get over 25,200, then that's a, that's a big push for going up uh, significantly up to about the 28,000 uh, mark. My predictions, again, over the next period of time is that once we get past the 28, there'll be a big kind of area uh, between the 28 and the 35,000 uh, range, which we could sit in for a while. So again, my, my prediction just now is dollar cost averaging for myself while, you know, if we did it down here, fantastic. But also in this region, anywhere down from 20,000 up to, all the way up to 27,000 is prime DCA timing. Um, I have no problem putting in $20 here, $20 there, uh, here, there, everywhere um, I, throughout the next uh, month or so and just slowly accumulating more and more Bitcoin, particularly uh, keeping it within the Bitcoin uh, ecosystem rather than going out to any of the other uh, altcoins. Maybe Ethereum, but uh, this is mainly looking at Bitcoin. Is this this is my pattern going on here? So get not get rich quick, but get rich slow um, going on here. And uh, this is my prediction going on. So so far, it's in the area that I thought it was going to be, and it seems to be exceeding the trajectory which I had it uh, predicted about over a month ago. So hopefully. If this carries on, it may just linger around this 25,000 region for another month. And then that's when I think it may be uh, on its way uh, going up. What we do have is on the uh, TradingView um, uh, website, you've got quite a few inf bits of information here. You've got the uh, FOMC meeting on the 22nd, so just in a couple of days. And then all this extra information, like poor, uh, the price index coming out and all that kind of stuff uh, later on in the month as well. So uh, in the next couple of days, we're going to get quite a lot of information coming out from the American government. Uh, there's a lot of FUD regarding Binance just now, um, and it's uh, BUSD and Paxos and all that kind of stuff having 
regulatory issues or fines from the SEC. So there is still a lot of FUD, a lot of turmoil in this area. But generally, what's happening is there's been negative news that's come out and the price hasn't really cared. It's not that big a deal. So there's always a case of when Bitcoin starts to ignore negative news and either stay flat or only have, you know, a couple of percentage changes, that's when generally people are thinking, we don't care. What's that? BUSD might be getting kicked out of the crypto ecosystem? Fine, doesn't matter. I'll move it to Tether. I'll move it to DAI. I'll move it to USDC. And that's when we're really, there is evidence that there is a bit of a bull run going on. The other claim is that this could be a bull trap uh, and people... So uh, these fluctuations just now, I suspect, are stop-loss hunting. So there's big traders that are trying to pump the price, tr- dump the price within a couple percentage ranges. So anybody that's doing 10x leveraging get completely wiped out and uh, liquidated. Um, however, I think there's just such a huge amount of people that are just sitting doing nothing, not trading at the moment, and just accumulating, that there's less liquidations going on out with the other traders. So traders are trying to do 10x leveraging, but if you're not a trader, which I think the majority of uh, certainly wallet holders are now just sitting and waiting and doing nothing or just accumulating. Um, so I, th- I think that any more FUD that comes out, I just don't see it having much of a negative effect. Certainly not out with this circle, this zone that I've got here. Uh, I can't see it coming down here. They've still got, you know, the Gareth Soloways of the world that are saying, oh, we're going to go down to 9,000. Where would would 9,000 be? (laughs) Oh, yeah, definitely down to 12,000, 9,000. We're going to drop down there. You're like, don't see that happening. But, yep, you've you've got your little little ideas. Uh, Good luck with that. And anybody that's saying, oh, I'm holding off here because I'm going to accumulate when we drop back down. Uh, Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Don't see it happening. DCA now or forever regret.